कोहिमा दे कंट्री पूरा दे मनिया थका निश्चना सैटरडे दे नेशनल एजुकेशन डे मनाई से डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन ब्रा ये ते नागलिन स्कूल एजुकेशन ला प्रिंसिपल डायरेक्टर थवसीलन के गे गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनम आती से थवसीलन ब्रा ये तो हम वही तो साल इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ एजुकेशन ला थीम दो मानो लोग दे इन्वेस्ट करेगी ना एजुकेशन के आगे रखिया लगा से कोई ना एजुकेशन दे थिक प्रा इन्वेस्ट ना करेगी फ्यूचर दे खतरा दे धाली दे किंतु एजुकेशन दे इन्वेस्ट करिया प्रा नेशन एकता के आगे लुई जाएगी ना डेवलप जल्दी करी दे कुछ नेशनल एजुकेशन डे लगा इतु साल थीम इनोवेटिव लर्निंग फॉर सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर तो थिक प्रा कोई की ना से कोई की ना गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर ब्रा कुछ इतु जल्दी बदली हुआ दुनिया दे लर्निंग दो ट्रेडिशनल तरीका एकला ब्रा काफी नो बो कुछ ताई ब्रा सजेशन खान कुंबा भी दी से आगे दे एनीए प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर जाविसे रूमे ब्रा प्रेसिडेंशियल एड्रेस दी से आरो नागलिन यूनिवर्सिटी ला प्रोफेसर लुंगसांग जिलियांग ब्रा रिसोर्स पर्सन था किस well, it's kind of the, you know, the, the actually, so today is the National Day of Education in Jiravaya. There's also an International Day of Education, so which, which happens to be on 24 January every year. And this year is, is dedicated to Afghani women and girls. And the, uh, the National Education Day as a speaker is before me had spoken, uh, uh, you know, as I had mentioned. This is in, 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 in honor of our first education minister, Sri Morana Azhar. So this is being celebrated every year on, on, on the uh, 11th of November. So our, our state along with the rest of the country is observing it today. And, <clears throat> and I wish you all a very happy uh, National Education Day. So, so today I sort of, in my speech, want to talk about two aspects, uh, two themes, so to say. One is, is investing in, in, in people and prioritizing education. That's one aspect. The other is I would also, I mean, we had a resource person talk in length about uh, you know, this year's theme in a way of learning for sustainable future, uh, sustainable future. So I, I sort of want to add on certain aspects to it because, um, you know, this, this is extremely pertinent in this time and age because uh, unless and until we innovate and adapt, like like our uh, <coughs> resource person had mentioned, we might not have a very, very, uh, you know, promising future, so to say. You know, there, there are a lot of changes that we'll have to uh, sort of uh, rapidly uh, make, make the way we conduct our lives across the world. And uh, education and, and thinking out of the box is at the center of this particular aspect. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, the first, first thing that I wanted to talk about is about investing in people. So, uh, world over, if you look at countries which have prioritized investment in education, they've, they've seen rapid uh, progress in all fields. You know, it could be economic, it could be social. They've seen rapid progress. Those countries which have been behind the curve in terms of their investment in education, they have not been so successful in terms of, you know, you choose the indicator, you you will see that they are not they're not at the top of the um, uh, top of the sort of top of the top of the game. So there's several other so so this is is one extremely important thing. So if, if you look at our country, uh, only about two percent of the budget goes into education. And our, our state, for example, I'll, I'll just give you a statistic. We spend about 1,700 crores every year in, in the salaries for employees of the Department of School Education. And given the fact that our, our, our uh, state, uh, you know, there are resource constraints, spending uh, most of the, or almost 90% just goes into paying the salaries, which leaves us with very, very little for investment in education. It, it could be multiple things. I mean, it could be school infrastructure, it could be building a digital ecosystem for our kids. So there are, there are massive concerns there. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, at this point in time, before I go further on this particular topic, I, I sort of want to give you a sense of what is it that we're looking at at the Department of School Education at this point in time. I mean, in terms of, you know, how do we, how do we prioritize and, and ensure that we invest more on areas that are going to have the maximum impact.